All right. Today I decided I was going to dye a knife with RIT dye. This is the scarlet color. I've never done this before, so if it doesn't work, it should be interesting. Um, I decided at the last minute I should probably put some gloves on, mostly because I don't want my hands to be red for the next week. Um, basic idea is you boil some water, a little salt, the Megan pasta. Um, for the knife, we are using a fiberglass reinforced nylon Spyderco UK pen knife. And I took it apart. The scales right here on my little hanger. Something you should probably have if you're going to take knives apart. A little magnetic bowl. Keeps all my pieces where I want them to be. So what we're supposed to do, like I said, I've never done this before. Bring your water to a boil, close to a boil, shut it off, throw in the dye packet. Uh, this is powder, it also comes in a liquid form. I've heard it's better to use the powder. I don't know. I'm mostly worried about hmm, dyeing my pot red. But again, we'll see. Give that a little stir. Keep the chopsticks around. It smells funny, that's for sure. Scarlet red. Hopefully, the color, the knife is going to come out. <clears throat> so now we just dip. We'll see how this goes. I don't think it's going to take long, so we're just going to toss it in there, pull it out, and see what happens. See, they're almost already. That was five seconds. I don't know how permanent what's on there is. It doesn't look too permanent. Let's try this again. Again, never done this before. Just kind of experimenting. Let's see how it comes out. I'm starting to get... Start, oh, this stuff stinks. Starting to get a little more color. I'm thinking this is actually going to take longer than I thought it would. What do we got now? Ah, looking good. I think... I think I'm going to call it quits. Give him a quick... Huh? Yeah. Give him a quick dunk. Now the idea is to pull these out, clean them off, and scrub them. Um, I guess gets all the extra crap off. I don't know. Yeah, they look pretty good. Not as scarlet as I thought, a little more maroon. Maybe I should have just bought a maroon knife. Pfft. Yeah, can't win them all. Yeah, we'll scrub these up and see how they come out. Okay, round two. They came out a lot darker than I had intended them to. I think, in retrospect, I should have used a lot less dye powder. So what I'm going to do now is, since I'm in the mood to experiment, I'm going to throw some yellow in a new pot, new clean water, more or less, and see if we can't lighten them up a bit. See how it goes. Eh, good enough. I'm going to use all the, eh, maybe I shouldn't use all the yellow. I'm going to use most of the yellow. I'm trying to brighten that up, so we'll see how it goes. The yellow looks very orange. I do it with my chopstick. <clears throat> you can probably kill the heat on that bad boy. Next up, this is lemon yellow. Big two. Yeah, see, that's definitely yellow. Let's see what this does, if anything. Just hoping it doesn't make them darker. Yeah, maybe that'd be cool. We'll see. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oops. Mm -hmm. I 
Don't know if the original red is too dark now to lighten up. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm doing much of anything. I'll let those bad boys sit for a little bit, see what happens. <clears throat> They sell a dye remover that's supposed to strip some of this dye. You could always go that direction if you didn't like your results, but I'm not picky. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know how much this yellow is going to do at this point. That's a shame. If I was smart, I would have mixed the yellow and the orange, or the yellow and the red to begin with, or just gone with less red. Give me a lighter tint. Hey, it's, I don't think it's exactly a science. It takes a little experimentation. Yeah, this does not seem to be doing a whole lot. I think I'm just going to let them sit and come back to that. Alright, it's been about five minutes with zero appreciable difference. I mean, basically none at all. Maybe once I get them out and clean them off, rinse them, but... Eh, doesn't look like it's doing much. It's all right. Not what I was going for, but I can live with it. Worst case scenario, I can try to strip the dye, or we can go black. Um, it seems to be that with this RIT dye, you can always go darker, but rarely lighter. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's try this again. Camera battery crapped the bed on me, so I had to go to a different camera. Not a problem. Um, the yellow dye did just about nothing. Um, I don't know, absolutely nothing, at least, as far as I can tell. The scarlet, it's a lot more maroon than scarlet. <laughs> it's funny, I dyed the UK pen knife a color that it comes in. Oops. Well, only one way to learn. I'm going to try to show you how to put this thing back together, uh, if I can remember how. It's really simple. That's one reason this is a great knife to do this with, because it's so easy to take apart. Let's see here. The thing that would have been smart for me to do is... Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> remember how it goes apart. Eh, let's see. The biggest pain, the most difficult part, is these pins that hold the lock bar and the blade pivot in place have a flat edge on them. You're probably not going to be able to see that. Yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to see that. But you have to line up that flat edge with the where the hole in the scale is notched. And it's a pain in the butt, and they're tight. Dumping this in boiling water probably didn't make them any less so. There we go. You know, like that. There's three more. It's a really, really simple knife to take apart but put back together. I may well prove myself wrong here, but yeah. There we go. Pivot goes in nice and easy. Still got some lube on it. And then one more holds the bottom of the knife together. And that is where the clip goes. So, the best way I've found to take these apart, put them back together, is get these female end screws in here and set it down on a flat surface. This way, you can work with the blade and the lock. Well, I guess it's not a lock bar. Yeah. I don't know what you'd call it. The only part of this I don't like is messing with the blade because it's sharp. push the bar out of the way so you can get the blade in there. It might even be easier. Let's try this. It might be easier to do this like this. It might be easier to put the blade in before the, the bar, actually. Although when I took the bar out last time, it was a giant pain in the butt to get it out. Let's see. 
just because how tight the tolerances of that screw are. So there we go. Let's try the blade first. Now we should be able to line up what I'm calling the lock bar. I mean, it's not a lock bar, but per se, without the blade getting in the way. There we go. There's a little round notch down here this locks into once you've got it fully assembled. I'm probably not doing a very good job of showing you this, but there we go. So there you have it, it's fully functional like that. All you gotta do, slap the other scale on, line it up, there we are, get in there. Man, yeah, not that simple maybe, <laughs> come on you. There it is. Uh oh. Lost one. The moral of the story is you got T8 Torx. Screw this back in, put the clip back on. The moral of the story is very easy knife to tinker with. Um, it's only got two parts inside if you don't count the screws. Very easy to mess with. If you want to take a knife apart to dye it, this is a good one. Problem is, it only comes in gray, blue, maroon. Black? Brown? I, I don't know. Other colors. But none of them are super light. So you're always going to, not always, but it's easier to end up darker than how you start. I'll put this back together. I'm not going to bore you with it.